Okay, so in this video we're going to cover the underbasing functionality. So there are three different types of underbases uh, that I've set up here. So we have underbase gradient, which is a more nuanced and more traditional underbase, um, where it pays attention to the lightness and darkness values of an image and creates a sort of blending um, underbase. Uh, some will find that useful. Uh, then we have um, the spot underbase or underbase spot. Um, and this one's just basically not paying attention to any of that stuff. It's just looking for pixels and creating an underbase for all that. It's, um, for example, AcroRip users for DTF printers, they have a setting called 100% white under colored pixels, I think, if I remember correctly. And this is going to be uh, basically an action like that, but this one doesn't do any sort of cleanup. Then I have another version that does the same thing, but actually does uh, a cleanup where you're not gonna have any sort of anti-aliasing um, effect going on. So keep that in mind. If you want a nice clean version without any sort of fuzzy edges, use the cleanup version. This is for, um, you know, basically you're gonna process your artwork and then run spot if you're gonna, if you wanna do that one. Otherwise, if you do it right at the beginning, it, it's gonna keep whatever's there. So if it's got fuzzy edges, it's going to keep them. So if you want to clean that up in the process, you can use this spot cleanup here. So let's go ahead and run them. So what I'm going to actually start first with is I want to show you guys, because it's an underbase, I'm, I, I made it white, uh, I'm going to give it a uh, garment color background. So we'll click the add garment color to start. So here's our black t-shirt, and this is the artwork we want to process. So that's all we have to do is make sure you have the artwork layer selected, and we'll do the underbase gradient editable first. Okay, so now that it's run through the action, you can see the underbase. So let's turn off the shirt. You'll see that it's kind of paid attention to the blending. Uh, this is really great. And you can also get in here and rasterize this too because you have those blending steps of transparency. As you can see here, you can little percentages of opacity of white here. Um, and for, for this example, um, I'm not going to do the rasterization. Um, we'll get in that in... Uh, when we get into that section, I'll, I'll show you some of those examples, but um, you can do that. So that is the gradient um, underbasing action. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that, turn on the artwork again, and then let's do underbase spot. Uh, and again, keep in mind these are all editable, so you can do some cleanup here if you want to. You have uh, the mask available, and you can make adjustments to it by going up to image adjustments, you know, and using levels and curves, brightness, contrast, whatever tool you want. Threshold, that's probably one of the, the, the best ones because it's going to give you 100% white or black pixels. So um, that one's processed. Let's zoom in and see. You'll see that this image I didn't take care of. I didn't do any sort of cleanup to make sure the edges weren't fuzzy. So this one actually kept those fuzzy edges. So that's that version. I'm going to delete that, turn on our artwork again, and then we'll process with the underbase spot cleanup version. Like that, run through the process, and as we zoom in, you'll see we have nice crispy edges. It's either white or black, and that's what you want, especially for laser or uh, white toner, laser printing, or DTF. So that's your underbase. You can easily output that with transparency and everything. We'll get into the out, uh, exporting in later videos, but um, yeah, that, that's your underbasing function. You're basically ready to go. And if you needed a specific color, you can always change it. You know, if you're if uh, the program needs it black, you can just double click the thumbnail icon for a solid color layer, which will bring up the color picker to pick the color that you need it, and you're basically good to go. And that is your underbasing functionality that wraps up our videos for the section on the raster adjustments. Uh, in the next set of videos, we'll be going uh, over the, the rasterized functionality or half-toning. See you then.